but um, we, we must keep an open mind and listen to all the Radio 1 guests at their big weekend. But of course the important thing is the Big Monday hashtag. That's what I think. But JD, have you been converted to hashtags, JD? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you do, you do use um, Facebook. Yes. And do you use Twitter a little bit? You've got a Twitter account. I've got a Twitter account, but I don't use that a lot, no. It's, it's mainly to keep up with what you're doing on, oh. on Tuesdays. Yes. Yes. Yes, because we use it on the we, mm. W-E-N-O-T-N-O. We don't know, which is on a Tuesday between 12 and 2. We use Twitter quite a lot. Mm. So we try searching on hashtags and things like that. Mm-hmm. But you you think it's, mo- it's not most people who use hashtags, so... Well, I don't understand them, really. Why do oh. we put a, this funny little looking sign, which is, to me, like a noughts and crosses thing, in, um, yeah. in a box and shorten yeah. words, you know? Why don't we just speak English? Ah, oh. <laughs> well, well, I suppose it's because the Twitterers have only got so many characters anyway. Ah, oh, right. Okay. And also, a lot of the tweets are um, from robots or... <laughs> but, you know, the, the, there's not, they're not necessarily ones you want to find anyway. Mm. So you can do a search. Mm. Once, it, once you've got the hashtag in, it's obviously a peculiar word anyway, that, that mm. sign. So then you can do a search and find the ones that are more or less interesting. Mm-hmm. So if, if, um, if you don't really know what's happening on Big Monday, when Radio 1 have gone home, but you'd still like a little bit of relaxing music somewhere, mm-hmm. and you think Heavenly Park is not too far away, <laughs> and you've got a mobile device, you could put in hash Big Monday, mm-hmm. and it would say... Um, help. Help. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody. <laughs> uh, is there a sound engineer out there? Yeah. yeah. And then if you knew a sound engineer, then, then that would be good. Right. You could respond. Or right. if it's you didn't, you could just retweet it anyway and hope somebody turns up. So it's used as a very short-term communication, isn't it? Yeah. It's not a long-term... Uh, well, you can archive them, but no, typically... Mm-hmm. Because if it's a long-term thing, if the, I mean, if the, you know, if the turn, if there's a book comes up or a, mm-hmm. a well-known event, mm-hmm. probably it'll be found anyway. Mm-hmm. So a lot of these terms are made up by people who are trying to promote something. All right. Um, but it's probably good to do it, I think, because then at least there's an official one or a most likely one that most people will use. Right. Um, because. People will try and fight, try, you know, if there's just a lot of people who are coming anyway to an event, mm. they will try and make up something by mm-hmm. which it can be found. Um, I think t- I think you should go back to the old-fashioned way. Which is would be what? You get your flags out and you flag it. <laughs> <laughs> so semaphore. Semaphore, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's, so the, word, that's so the word I was trying to look go, for. We go to a high point. Yeah, that's Hatchet right, yeah. Park, yeah. We send a rocket off into the... You know, into the atmosphere, yes, and uh, with, with a message on it, you know, or something like that. Perhaps we should, could get the church involved. <laughs> they, yeah. They've got a high spot. Are they? Oh yes. yes, they've got a very high spot. So maybe that would be it. Or I, I, mean, I, I, I do, I do recognise the need for for print. We need a few posters. Yes. Any any event needs needs. Well, po- posters to me is the old, and it's the old fashioned way. Mm. But actually, it hits me much more than anything coming on, so say Facebook or anything like that. Ah. Oh. So it does. It's still so for me, it? as an oldie oldie of the uh, mm. <laughs> of the of the realm here. Yes. You know that's what I would go for. I look for posters all all over the place. I take a photograph of it just to remind me of what's on, and that's the information I need. But you, if if you saw a poster, do you do you notice the hashtags on the posters? Do you think? No, they, no, no. They just don't. just the information. Right. If there's a website, I look at it because yeah. it will give me a bit more information. But it has to be spelled out to you what the website is. Yep. And you write it down the full. Do I take a photograph of the oh, right. of the thing? I've right. so so just done one this morning. So <laughs> yeah, I said that was, looks interesting. I have a have a look at that on the my on the website when later on. Okay, and then you know you know the full URL and you type that in. Yeah. And if it's not very good, I say no. I won't go to that, or we'll go to that, or I I can research that a bit more for our programmes or whatever. So if, if you saw the poster and there was a hashtag on it, mm. which you could remember, such as Big Monday, mm. but B I G M O N D A Y, all mm. one word, mm. um, 
and you did a search on that, it probably will come up with all sorts of things. It probably would do, you see, and it will confuse me. Oh. And I say, well, that's not for me, and I'll move on. OK. <laughs> well, if you had to put in Hevetry as well... Right. ...which is H-E-A-V-R-T... Mm. R-E-W-E double mm. yes uh, you should know that I should know that yeah, but the, it's the H-E-A-V bit yeah, right. anyway, if, if you put both of those in right who knows what you'd come up with well I can do that on a, on a Google search yeah, I wouldn't so. do it now because I, I don't think there's anything that. well I don't the problem there, there might be but say, I, that's the way I, say, that's the way I would seat. I would do is I would take Heavy Tree Exeter and a date yes and it would come up with something it would so you know, it, um, sometimes people like I mean like, they like the short versions of things which grab them. Yeah. But in the long run, you've got to use your brain sometime. Yes. <laughs> yes. You can't <laughs> can't say well, like, our life is all going to go around hashtags, you know. <laughs> so I'll be speaking oh, no, to you no, hashtag no, language. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, tw- Twitterers don't talk in you know, shortened terms when they're speaking to each other in real language. I well, don't, I don't we, think do so, we really. know that? I mean, well, so we well, go to the high places like London and everything. Do you think they don't do that? I'm sure they, they do. Well, they do it on media, so they, they, they well, were well, never... I, I mean, text used to be like, like that. I mean, mm. pe- uh, well, pr- perhaps it still is. I mean, people send mm. text messages in mm. peculiar words, don't mm. they? But they don't talk like that, do they? How many, how many words have entered the language in that form? In that form of text, yeah, well, I haven't sent to text for years. <laughs> no, <laughs> so so. that's a bit sort of <laughs> old fashioned. No, oh, I don't know, perhaps it will, but at least you can I prefer to pick up the phone and say, Hello, Will, how are you today? You know, yes. instead of, of yes. this, all this electronic stuff, you see. Yes. It's okay for us at the moment because between you and I, there's quite a distance. Yes. And we do a show together, so that's good, but I wouldn't use hashtags for it. No. Sounds like a disease. Oh. <laughs> OK. Well, look, I, 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 I shall keep raising the, raising the topic, because mm. it seems to me, if, if there was a, a sort of culture of it, if there were mm. half the population in, in the Exeter area or within the range of Phonic FM mm. who more or less understood what a hashtag was, you could promote a music FM quite, quite cheaply. Mm. Um, if, you, if you're relying on posters, I'm not even against posters, I think we mm. should do some posters... But to, to reach everybody through leafleting or buying space to put up a poster, mm. um, it, it's quite quite difficult. Mm. It costs a bit and it takes some, takes a while. It does, yes, I, I know that. But it, but who's uh, this is this is the thing? Like today, yeah. Okay, I'll give you an example. Today, we know what happens today in Great Britain, don't we? We know what's happening today. Yes, today is voting day. So it's a vote. There is a okay, vote. Okay, so on. I get my little card yes. and it says, You've now got the road yeah. and vote. Yes. But who the hell, excuse my French, mm. is are the people I'm actually um, voting for? There's nothing that comes back to tell me that. So therefore, they leave it a website at the bottom there. Yes. So they all presume that we can ha- we have got access to websites. So that's where the information will be who to vote for. That's what they assume. That's what they assume. But in the olden days, it used to be people coming around, saying, hello, you know, I'm from here. And, and that doesn't happen anymore. That doesn't though. happen anymore, you see. So the, so the actual contact is, is through the websites and the Twitters and what have you. Yes. And so you're, you're supposed to have all this technology around you if you want to go and vote, which is rather silly, really. Well, I think some of them have just decided it's, it's cheaper and easier and that that's all they're going to do. Yeah, it may, it may be cheaper, but I, I don't know who's who to vote for. No, <laughs> so no, so you so but you you have got a, I, mean, I can see you've got in front of yeah, you. Yeah, I got, got I got my thing so, in front of there. But so I'm, so if you've got a candidate, you could yeah. But my mother my mother doesn't have it have no, that facility. No, she and she's no. a you know she's a, a long term voter, shall we say? Right. So she doesn't know what they're standing for and what have you. And then you're just, you know, you're. That's all you get. Your vo- your voting card yeah. comes through the door, yeah. and there's a, there's a website on the bottom to look who's on. <laughs> so, so they're presuming everybody's got it. Yes, you know the website, they do. the web. Yeah. Huh? No, they do. But the older people haven't got that sort of facility, or some of them don't. Mind you, I have seen a lot of people, a lot of older people, um, you know, really into their into their high tech. They've got their devices. They've got devices there. Yeah, 
Well, that's. <laughs> and do do you think there's still parts of um, parts of Devon that say where broadband is is not as good as it could be? Yes. Oh yes, definitely. There's there's places which you can't get broadband at all, and uh, or people don't want it. You see, they they they're trying to force this culture onto people. You know, it's because everything is now going through the websites. Um, your tax and your you know, everything from council tax to what, what you know, um, you know what day of the week it is. Um, so at the moment, you know, it is. I suppose in the long run, it's pretty good for those people who are in the outbacks of nowhere for communication. If they can get it, yeah, then they it's can a get big it. Help. But the, the, the trouble is that some people just don't have telephone lines. So they've got to find a different method of doing it, which costs them twice as much as a, a landline. Yeah. So it just depends, really, it's on, on their budgets and what have you. But also, you know, a lot, lot of people have it. I've got an uncle in, in, uh, in uh, Scotland. He doesn't have broadband. He, in fact, doesn't have a telephone. <laughs> right. He lives on his own, with his, his generating his own power. So, you know, there are people who don't want this so if he gets a voting card through his post he said what's this for you know what am i supposed to do with this right, and he probably right. he would probably go and post it back in the post box <laughs> but then again there, yes. there's the outlines the point really is yeah. that this individual side of communication has gone where you actually talk to somebody yeah so a candidate knocking on the door Yes, That's or yes, that or, you could believe. Yeah, or you come around and tell me how you feel instead of actually maybe finding out on Facebook how you're yes, feeling. Which, which, <laughs> which graphic I've chosen for yeah. the week? <laughs> that's right. So there, there you go. That's my opinion anyway. But I mean, I think that's the way we're going now. And if it's if it does help us in in the long run, then it should be free for all in a way. So that that, yeah. that yeah. so we're not actually having to say, well, we've got to have it. In order to find out, you know, um, you know, what's on the TV tomorrow or something like that. You know, it's it's getting well. It, assuming there is a TV, they might <laughs> yes. do away with the TV. TV might go well. down the you <laughs> Never know. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right. It mm. should be it should be available everywhere. It should be two two ways of availability, and uh, that's the only way you're going to get it until until should we say. Um, um, I hate people for saying me saying this, but the, the older generation pass away, mm. you know, then then that sort of you know the new generation takes over. It's not me. I'm not the new generation. <laughs> no, but they probably like posters as well. They probably do. Well, that's well, it'd be interesting to know that, wouldn't it? If you're going to do a survey, do you like posters? Well, somebody's buying vinyl, mm. and apparently yeah. they don't they don't play it. Some of them they stick it on the wall. <laughs> Can you believe good. that? I don't know what age they are. Well, it's it's, um, it's a it's a long playing um, wallpaper. Yes. Well, I've, so so I've heard. I don't know. Mm. But yes. But anyway, somebody in a somebody, certain in, in a certain um, uh, supermarket, they're selling them just inside the door and the turntable to go with it. Yes. <laughs> well, we obviously do need a turntable. It's better than a turntable. <laughs> do we? Oh, yes, I mean, I suppose so. But, but um, no, it's just it's just strange to me because, um, well, for, for 10 or 15 or 20 quid, you could do quite a big poster. Yeah. Couldn't you? Yes, that's right. But anyway, so the, we'll stick to... Po there will be posters for the Have It Bank Holiday Monday event. Oh, good. <laughs> there will be some posters. <laughs> You're doing the old-fashioned way. But I think we'll include the hashtag as part of the poster. OK, well, you have to do it. I suppose now it's actually more work in the long run, isn't it? Because in the olden days, you just had the poster, stick yeah. them up. Yeah. But now you've got to put them on websites, hashtags, yeah. Twitters, yes. on your brain, everything. So yes. <laughs> there's, there's a lot more to advertise something. Yes. But anyway, radio's in the mix. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, demonstrate this now because... I have the Extra Phoenix promotional leaflet for May and June. Yes, I had a look at this. Yesterday I went into the library for the first time yes. in 25 million years. And and I sat down and read this thing. I said, hmm, this looks interesting. So well, which look, bit well, did you like? Well, the bit that interests me is uh, page four. Mm -hmm. It says Ronnie Spector, TBC, to be confirmed. Yes. And it's advertised for... Sunday the 12th of June. Yes. But I'm now reliably informed through talking to the box office mm -hmm. that
that she will be here on the 9th. On the 9th? The 9th oh, right. So she's definitely coming. Right. Well, that's pretty good, because I was going to mention her next week, but uh, I would do it again on the 9th, OK? Right, and, fine. Uh, so, so there, you see, print is very good, but it's not completely up to date. No. Radio being based on voice, instant voice, if you're lucky enough to be in the uh, extra area... Are we instant? Well, it's pretty quick, isn't it? Yes. I mean, if, I, if, I, if I was... If somebody walked in the door now and said the Ronettes are not coming... Yes. Because on the poster it says there will be Ronettes as well. Oh, right. But I, I'm not sure. In this printed mm. leaflet... Yes. ..they're not mentioned. Yes. But, um... Well, the other thing that's interesting... Um, in the printed leaflet it says... Uh, Ronnie's most recent album features collaborations with the raconteurs Patti Smith and Keith Richards. Well, which which album is that? Do you think? Because no I went idea. I went into the um, HMV right. and I, I could find English Heart, mm -hmm. where she does um, she does a cover of um, I'd Rather Be with the Girls, or that's her, I think I think that's the name of the song, or I'd Rather Be with the Boys is what the Rolling Stones did. But whether that's the one. Maybe there's another CD, but on the poster it says all the, all the big hits. The poster that's outside the Phoenix at the moment. Mm. See, this is where. So if we if we know what if eventually we know what the hashtag is for Ronnie Spector, and we can follow it on Twitter, we'll we'll get better information. So either English Heart is not her most recent CD, or there's another CD, or she's going to just do hits anyway. But at the moment, from the printed information, I wouldn't say it's very clear. Well, the, the single is from 2015. What single is that? The Be My, uh, Be My Baby. No, that's on here. not from 2015. That's from a long time ago. Oh, is it? Right. OK, got no, it on. from 2015. Great. No. Anyway, mm -hmm. what I've lined up, because yep. I saw the poster when I came right. in, and it have, the, the Ronette, there's a photograph of the Ronettes on the, on the printed poster. Uh, and so this, this track, which I found on YouTube is called I Can Hear Music. 